We sort of conceived of this season of storytelling as a three-act novel. Mom! This episode kicks us headlong into the second act. Now we're going to find out what happens when you let the kid out of Shawshank prison and into the world at large. Eagle-eyed King fans may recognize the name of the guy on the video the kid watches in the prison right before he's released. He says, I'm Lou Hadley. Who are you? Lou Hadley is presumably somewhat related to Byron Hadley, the guard who tortures Andy Dufresne in The Shawshank Redemption. We both have been in various parts of the country where wildfires are a significant part of everyday life. We were all really struck tuning on the news at night by these images of cars crawling down the freeway and an apocalyptic inferno on all sides. Whether it's a place like California or Castle Rock, there's something very unsettling about these giant wildfires, especially on the day the kid has gotten out of Shawshank. What could be written off as just a sign of the times and an indication that our environment is changing it might be in the world of Stephen King, a harbinger of something much darker connected to the arrival of a newcomer in Castle Rock. You know, one thing that we love about Jean as an actor is she has this kind of ability to walk into almost any situation and kind of turn it on its head. We love the idea of Jackie and the kid intersecting, and we were sort of really interested in the idea that a character like Jackie would treat him as if he was anyone else. People will bitch about the bad old days, but I would give my left tit to go back there. We come to understand that she has started calling herself Jackie after this black sheep uncle of hers from The Shining. Essentially, we're, we're taking a young woman who has always wanted to find herself in the middle of a Stephen King uh, story. We're going to find out over the course of the next few episodes um, if one might be careful what one wishes for. The entire first half of the season is scratching at what happened to Henry when he was a boy. Do you hear it right now? Comes and goes. Used to bother me when I was a teenager. You start to get the sense that there may be some connection between this condition that he has and some of the strange events of the past. And that's something that we're gonna to continue to explore.